tomorrow is going to be your first time coming to my parents' house. So are you worried? <laughs> I have to work in the morning, so I won't be able to come along with you on that flight. But I'll be over later, so just hang out with my parents while you guys wait for me. I think they'll all have things for you to do there. And it'll be a good chance for you guys to talk about me behind my back. <laughs> of course I'm a bit nervous. This will be my first time meeting your mom, as well as going to your parents' house in general. I really wish you were able to come with me on the flight over, though. I'll probably be sweating the whole flight just thinking about how things will go and if they'll be happy with me or not. Well, even if I could come with... My mom told me that she wants to talk with you one-on-one -on -one for a bit. So I'm sorry, but she's going to get what she wants this time. That right there makes me really nervous to see her. But I get it. This will be her first time seeing me as well. And since I have the day off work, there's no reason I can't go early and see her. But man, am I sweating over this. You'll only be there for a few hours by yourself, so don't worry too much. And later in the day, your parents will be coming over, right? They'll have all of that business talk with my dad. So I'm sure that my mom knows not to get too out of control with you. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan anyway. But it would be a whole lot better if they came over at the same time as me. At least then they could get all that business talk over with before you come, and then I won't have to feel as worried about what kind of interrogation they give me today. Well, my dad's really looking forward to seeing you, Rose. He told me that he wants to show you around my hometown a little as well, before your parents come. And that he'd probably do that with you after picking you up from the airport, and before you all go back to the house. I think that'll help you relax a bit, and they're close to the beach. So you can probably go out and dip your feet in for a bit. And also, if you can't become close with my mom, that would be wonderful. She is a bit rough on people at first, so I'm a little concerned about that. But if you do get to be really close, then I will never have to think about you both getting into fights, like mother-in-laws always get into on those TV dramas. <laughs> Telling me that now is only going to get my heart racing even faster. Now I feel even more like she'll find problems with me when I speak to her. Ugh. I should call them when I get to the airport, right? Then they'll come and pick me up from there, right? They told me that they'd be waiting there before you even arrive, so you shouldn't have to wait for them to come get you. My mom and dad are really looking forward to seeing you. I'm sure when you get there, they'll have a sign with your name on it for you and everything. <laughs> well, I hope that's true, and tell them thank you for waiting on me. But there's always the chance that the plane will be late, so maybe it's best they wait a little bit before coming. Well, you could tell my parents that before you go then. They said they'll be tracking your flight, so they'll know the time it comes into the airport, even if there's a delay or anything like that. But if it'll relax you a little bit, you could tell them what to do. Anyway, have a safe flight tomorrow, okay? Thank you, Nathan. And you too! As for the time you'll be arriving at the airport, that should be around 11 a.m., right? Good afternoon, Mom. Yes, that should be the right time. Could you please not call me Mom yet? I am not your mom or anything like that to you. Huh? Oh, right. I I'm so sorry. Tomorrow is looking to be a very hot day here. And it's the 4th of July, a day in which families should be together, yet we have to come and get you. That'll take a lot of time and be a pain in the butt for me. What? Is that right? I'm really sorry about that. If you'd like, I can find a way to make it to your guys' house by myself. That might be the right move, Rose. Well, we'll see about that tomorrow. Understood. I'm sorry if me coming out tomorrow causes any troubles for you, but I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Rose, do you really think you can be married to my son? What? I'm sorry, but wh what do you mean by that? I assumed that since my son chose you, you'd be a very outstanding person. 
but you don't work for any major company, nor do you even have a proper job of your own. If anything, you're going to give up whatever income you have and become a housewife leeching off my son, right? Do you think I'll allow you to use my son and become a part of my family that way? I'm sure you have your eyes set on us because my husband runs his own company, am I right? Hold on for one moment. What are you talking about right now? I think you have some kind of misunderstanding because that's not at all what I plan for. So you are telling me you never knew that my husband has his own company? I, I know about that, but... There we go then. <laughs> my son never listened to me about people like you being in this world. And that's because you already have a hold on him. What do you mean that there are people like me in this world? The trash that only looks to marry for others' money. <laughs> you think I'm after your guys' money? I've been dating your son now for three years. I can understand you thinking something like that could be possible, but I am not that kind of person, Kelly. Who knows? But be aware that I have no plans of becoming family to you. However, if you say anything about this to my son, I'll make sure there's hell to pay. Don't you ever do anything to make my family upset, okay? I don't plan to say anything to upset your family, but for the time being, I look forward to seeing both you and your husband tomorrow. We haven't had the chance to meet one another yet, so it's great to see that we'll finally all be able to get to know each other. And since it appears there are a few misunderstandings, I'll try my best to clear everything up between us. I had planned to give you a call to let you know that I'm here. Where are you guys right now? I did come a bit early, so if you're not here just yet, don't worry. I'll be waiting a little bit for my bag to come out. We are not going to get you. What? I do not accept you as my family. And I will not let you be my son's wife. Are you really saying that you're not going to pick me up from the airport then? Also, you are aware that Nathan and I have already legally married one another and have our certificate, right? We had planned to come out to your guys' house for the 4th and we could celebrate as a family there. That doesn't mean a thing. I do not want you to be a part of this family. And that also means I don't approve of you being my son's wife. So, since you're just a stranger to me, you will not be getting any car ride back to my house. Why would anyone take a stranger back to their house anyway? If you really want to be here with us, show me your determination and walk all the way to our house under the blistering sun. Hold on for a second. You want me to walk to your house when it's this hot out? I understand now that you don't want to come here to get me, but I can still get a taxi to take me there, right? Nope. What? If you do something like that, then you're definitely never going to get my approval to marry my son. Come here with your own strength and show me how much you want to be in this family. Are you seriously saying all that right now? That's quite a long distance to your house from here. Should only take you an hour and a half to get here if you hustle, right? Do you not want my approval, Rose? Even if you say you're my son's wife, to me you're just a complete stranger. And my husband and I don't give rides to complete strangers. <laughs> you are going to walk under the scorching sun from the airport or else you'll lose any chance of becoming part of the family. Alright. Then I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> I understand that you won't accept me any other way, so I'll start walking, but... Is this really what you want from me? Just hurry up and start walking. If you can't make it in time for lunch, you'll have to wait until dinner to eat. Okay then, I'll be on my way over right now. I'm walking right now, what do you want? You have called me almost 200 times now and my voicemail is full. Rose, where are you right now? I told you that I'm walking and still a ways away from your house. I'm going to come to you as soon as I can, so, so please tell me what street you're on. Why are you saying that now? Could this be because you heard about how I've been supporting your husband's company financially with over $300,000 now? What $300,000? What are you talking about? 
So you haven't heard about that from your husband yet then, huh? Then why are you trying to get a hold of me so frantically? My husband has started to worry about why you're not at our house yet, so I'm worked up now. I told him that when I went to go and get you without him, I wasn't able to find you and came back home. And he became frustrated with me because he expected that I look for you if you weren't there waiting for me. Well, he is right to be frustrated by that. Normally, you'd never just get up and go home without the person you came out to get, right? But really, you didn't even come to the airport to get me in the first place. And what's this about you financing my husband's company? I haven't heard anything about that from him yet. Well, my family's company has been working to help finance your husband's company for a bit now. And my parents were actually planning to come out here later today on a separate flight to see you both. Wait, uh, does that all have to do with why my husband told me he needed to run into his office and gather a lot of paperwork today? I'm sure that was all to prepare for seeing my parents in person this time. They've already decided on helping your husband's company out, but there are still talks about how much we'll give. And today was supposed to be the day that something like that was decided on. That's probably why your husband had to run to his office and prepare the documents needed for said meeting, right? While your husband has been busy with all of that, I was planning on having you get me from the airport, but you never came. I'm sure he's worried now about how things will play out with my parents now. Well, I never knew anything about that! Since when did you all start talking about helping him with his company? Whether you knew about it before this or not, things wouldn't have changed. What you've done to me today has really shaped the future between us and opened my eyes to the true you. Anyway, I'm going to take my time walking over. It's super hot out and I'm getting tired, but... He's still asking me why you haven't arrived yet, and it's a problem for me now. A problem for you. <laughs> this is what you wanted to happen, right? It was, but I didn't actually consider something like that happening. Maybe you should just tell your husband the truth then? Tell him that you told me you'd come and get me, but when I arrived at the airport, you took back your word and said that I needed to walk to your house. I never meant it as a bad thing towards you or anything. Well, if this wasn't done out of hate towards me, then why did you do it? <laughs> I think it's best you tell your husband that you demanded that I walk to your house all the way from the airport. I'm sorry, but I don't believe there's anyone that would ask that from someone with any reasoning besides bullying the person they've asked. Are you trying to mess with me right now? There's no way I could say something like that to him. If I were to, what would he end up saying back to me? I believe that it's you that's been messing with me, Kelly. Huh? Are you still not aware that everything you've been saying today has been you trying to make me suffer? Well, it doesn't matter what your real intentions were for this because everyone will soon find out what you did to me. What are you talking about, Rose? I'm saying that if I'm asked about what happened to me today, I'm telling them the truth. Who will you tell that to? Well, to your husband and Nathan. If they ask why I was so late in arriving at your house, I'll tell them the truth. And I'll show them all the texts you sent me. What? You plan to say such needless things to them? These are very important things that I'll be telling them since they're all the truth. I'm not doing any of this to spite you. Rather, I'm just giving them the true answer. Please, don't say a thing about this. If either of those two find out, I'll be in huge trouble. Well, if this were going to get you into huge trouble, then you never should have done it in the first place. But you've already gone through with it, so it's over for you. But I'm telling you that I'll come and get you now. All you have to do is tell me where you're at and everything will be fine, right? Even if you do plan to come get me, it's far too late. I've already walked this far because of you, so your intentions are well known. I'm going to continue walking all the way there just so I can savor the hate I have for you. I'm telling you that you don't need to walk anymore. I'll come out and get you. You told me to walk an hour and a half through this horrible summer heat, and now you want to stop me halfway and come get me? It's too late for you, Kelly. You've said more than enough now. I never knew anything about you and your family, though, so I didn't think you could do anything to me. Please allow me to come and get you. And then you won't have to tell my husband and son anything unnecessary. 
I get that you're in a panic and want to come get me. But you demanded that I do this, so I'll go until the end. Even if that leads to your husband and Nathan learning the truth and getting pissed at you, that'll have nothing to do with me. Please don't say things like that! I'll be in huge trouble if they find out! Well, you asked for it. And now you've gotten what you wished for, and you have to be there to bear responsibility for it. Rose, I'm so sorry. I apologize for being such a jerk to you today. Can you please agree to keep this one event a secret between us? No thanks. Why not? I'm not even asking much from you right now. Do you really think you can say no to that? I do, actually. I have a right to say no to you now. What you've done today has shown me your true character, and so I can do whatever I want with that knowledge now. And along with that, I don't have to care about what you think about my actions, because you never bothered to hide your true self from me. I really did want to become close to you and all, but I can see that that's not what you wanted. That's not true! I do want to become close to you, Rose! It's not too late for the both of us to become really good in-laws! It is too late. You made yourself believe that I was only in this for your guys' money. But if you heard about how my family is going to support your husband's company, you would have never thought to say that, right? Well, it's too late now. So now do your best and tell all of this to your husband and son for me. And if you won't, I promise I'll hold no truth back from them. In the end, Kelly's husband and son ended up learning the truth about what happened with Rose, and they proceeded to tear her a new one before getting into the car and heading on the road to go find Rose. They both called Rose a couple of times before she finally answered them, but by that point she was already very close to the house, and so she had already been on the move for over an hour in the super hot heat. When they did get to her, she was covered in sweat and would lay her up having some horrible sunburns because she didn't even have any sunscreen on her at the time. After getting back to the house, everyone began to ask Kelly why she did this to Rose. But after she kept beating around the bush about it, the rest of the family banned her from joining them for dinner. They then left the house without Kelly and watched fireworks for the rest of the evening while helping rub some much-needed aloe all over Rose so the burns didn't bother her as much. Following the dinner and fireworks, though, everyone came back to the house where Kelly finally did tell everyone her reason for doing this to Rose, and that led to Nathan telling his mom he was cutting ties to her. He said that he could never have someone as his mother who would go to such lengths over such a pathetic excuse, and would make sure that she'd never have the chance to talk to Rose again. And as for her husband, he was appalled by her reasoning and told her that he'd be moving to a new house and away from her. Just as his son had said, he didn't want to give her the chance of coming around the family again, but also wanted to make sure that she didn't get in the way of the business he'd worked so hard for. Kelly then panicked and tried to apologize to everyone for what she'd done, but by that point, everyone only ignored her pleas for forgiveness and gave her the coldest shoulder. By that night, everyone had left the house and left Kelly there to go stay at a hotel near the airport where her husband and Rose's parents could continue to talk about the financing in peace. Luckily for everyone, my parents did end up going through with the plans that had been made for helping finance the business and keeping it going, so there were no more worries there. Kelly really did take things too far this time, and now she's having to pay for it by not only losing her own family, but also losing any income into her life. As for what'll happen next to her, there's only anxiety surrounding it, I'm sure. But if I were her, I'd at least start by finding a job soon, or else those missed payments on the bills to that house will have her seeing a new world without a roof over her head. Hey! Hi. That's it? Aren't you excited to hear from me? It's been forever. What do you want? Nothing, just saying hi to a friend. Ugh, we're not friends, Miller. Huh? Is it because I bullied you as a kid? Ugh. That's ancient history. I didn't say that. Oh, and my last name isn't Miller anymore. It's Anderson. Right, you married Kevin. Yeah. Why do you hate me so much? 
<laughs> you gotta relax. I just wanted to catch up. You got married, right? Man, time flies. You're back in town, right? Oh, we were kids just a few years ago, you know? And I'm getting so old. My hair and skin, it's just not the same, you know? Oh, I wish I was young again. Getting old sucks. Uh, okay. How about you, Maggie? You taking care of yourself? Uh, I guess. Good. Good to hear. Why aren't you saying anything? Ugh. Whatever. Look. There's something on my mind. Huh? What are you talking about? Last weekend, I was out shopping and I saw something really interesting. I don't care. I gotta go. You'll probably want to hear this. What? Uh, hypothetically speaking, if you saw a friend cheating on another friend, what would you do? What? Just answer the question. Um, I'd probably call them and tell them what I saw. And tell them that it's wrong. But, I don't know. I might not call them at all. Why are you asking me all of this? Hmm, interesting. But, uh... What? I know you're having an affair. What? Me? Having an affair? Yep. I know everything. You're cheating on your husband. I know. What? Um, no, I'm not. <sighs> That's what they all say. Why do you think I'm having an affair? I saw you. I told you. Stop trying to deny it. Uh, okay. Not sure who you saw, but it wasn't me. You know what I love? Gossip. <laughs> I just can't get enough of it. It's so exciting, you know? What? You know that TV show? Ah, uh, what's the name? <gasps> Cheaters. Ooh, I love that show. <laughs> this is so much fun. Uh... And the thing is... I got proof. <laughs> You know what that means? Proof of what? I haven't done anything wrong. Look, you don't have to deny it. Everyone cheats on their partner at some point. I've been married for two years now, but... I get it, you know? It's okay. I told you, I'm not having an affair. You know that cafe near the station? Uh... The one with the famous pancakes? Yeah. What about it? Last Saturday? Around noon? Does that ring a bell? Huh? Oh. I knew it! Maybe I'll tell your husband about it. And your boss, too! <laughs> tell them what? What are you saying? You sure want to play it like that, huh? I'll do it. Your husband might leave you. Um, what are you trying to do? Look, relax, okay? I don't want to make things awkward. So, how about this? Pay me, then I'll keep quiet about all of this. So what do you think? If you say no, I'll send the pics to my followers. Followers? Yep, I got a secret account for this kind of stuff. I got a lot of followers. More than 10,000. Pretty impressive, right? I only follow like four people, though. <laughs> Good for you. Check it out. See? Your pic will be all over the internet. Your husband will find out for sure. And everyone at your workplace, too. Um, that's my little brother. What? I knew it. That's my brother. We're done here. <laughs> Liar? I met your brother when we were in high school. He was not this handsome. You're such a liar. Stop trying to deny it. Oh, it's pathetic. He got his looks from his mom, so... He's pretty good looking. When he was a teenager, he didn't care about his looks, but these days he keeps himself pretty clean. Then why are you grabbing his arm? Why not? 
He's my little brother. Ugh, if you're gonna lie, you'll have to do better than that. I'm not lying. Just stop. Look, I'm trying to help you here. I'm gonna go grab a drink with a friend. I'll text you when I'm done. Hey. I want an answer now. Why aren't you picking up? I'll upload the picture online if I have to. I'm not kidding. Oh, my bad. I completely forgot. So, what's it gonna be? What are you talking about? You know exactly what. You gonna pay up? You want me to upload this picture online or not? I told you already. I'm not paying you. That's my brother, okay? Oh, by the way. Your husband called last night. Why? He gave me permission, so... Here, let me send you a screenshot. Then, he sent me this picture. It's a custom-made wedding ring, right? He made it just for you. Tell him it's all a misunderstanding. Please? I'm not lying for you. Please? No. Wait. What the hell? How did he find out? How did this happen? Um, I don't know. Maybe it was one of your followers. I guess you can't really trust anyone. Sucks for you. Well, gotta go. Bye! Wait! What am I supposed to do? I'm... breaking out here! I'm scared! Um... Just ask your followers for help. <laughs> Stop joking around! Please pick up! Please help me! Oh, I know. I got an idea. What? Are you an only child? Yeah. Does Coda know? Uh, yeah. Why? Look. Just tell him that he's your little brother. <laughs> She left a mountain of evidence in her secret Twitter account. She deleted her account and begged her husband to forgive her. But it was too late. Kevin's mind was made up. A few months later, he divorced her and threw her out of the house. She lost everything. And now, she was up to her neck in debt. Sucks to be her. Oh well, not my problem. The other night, I told my brother about this over dinner. We had a good laugh at her expense. <laughs>